Hey kids, now time for another story from this book. Bump the tablet a little. Hopefully this doesn't. No, we see. Not confused. Not the tablet as to which angle it's recorded on. Anyways, it's Toy Story, a toy Christmas. Take that, Andy said in Woody's voice. You're spending Christmas in jail. He put in a ham to ham to piggy bank into an old shoe box with slits that cut into the sides. Andy was playing in his room with his toys. In one hand, he held Woody the cowboy, and the other was Buzz Lightyear the space ranger. You'll be seeing bars for a long, long time, Andy added in Buzz Lightyear's commanding tone. <clears throat> Andy's mother came into the room and sat down on the bed. Andy, I have a surprise for you, she said. You know Christmas is coming up, and this year for your big present, we're going to the Grand Canyon. Andy dropped Woody a buzz on the floor. He jumped up and down. Hooray, Andy said, continuing to bounce up and down. That's the best present ever. Can I take Buzz and Woody? He picked up his two favorite toys. I think it's better if you leave them here, his mother said. You'll be so busy, you won't have any time to play. Now come on, we have a lot to do to get ready. Mm. The moment the door and the shut behind Andy and his mother, the toys came to life and gathered around. Buzz sat up. Woody straightened his cowboy hat. Mm. All right, Rex the dinosaur said as he came out from under the bed. No, we see. Yeah, the trip is Andy's big and the present this year. That means no other toys to take our places. I was worried Andy was going to get a video game. Ham added. All the toys started talking at once. Hold on a minute. No, what he said. No, we see. He walked to the center of the room. Sure, it's great that there aren't going to be any new toys to replace us. But did you think about what else this means? It means Christmas without Andy. Everyone got quiet. Christmas without Andy? Why Christmas without Andy? See, it didn't seem, wouldn't seem like Christmas at all. R.C. Spender drooped sadly. Slinky Dog hung his head. Even the Green Army Man looked glum. Buzz Lightyear walked over to Woody. Andy will be gone, but that doesn't mean we can't have Christmas. We'll just make it a toy Christmas. No, Woody looked at the other toys around him. He forced a smile onto his face. Buzz is right, he said. We'll have a great Christmas this year. But deep down, Woody was sure it couldn't even happen. It was true that they could have thrown their own Christmas, but without the kid who loved them all, it wouldn't be much fun at all. After Andy and his family left on their trip, the toys started getting ready for Christmas. They had a lot to do. They made decorations, practiced uh, singing songs, and looked for presents for each other. Psst! Woody! Over here! Jessie hissed loudly. Woody found her hiding behind a sack of books. Look what I found, she said proudly. She held up a red bandana. Why, Jessie, both sides were looking for his bandana for months, Woody said. I know, Jessie grinned. It's going to be a great present for him. No, let's see. Come see the Christmas carols. No, we see the penguin called to Woody. All right, Woody said. He thought maybe the songs would put him in the Christmas spirit. Weezy grabbed the mic, the tape recorder, and as the music began, his high squeaky voice had dropped to a deep baritone. Kind of like the end of Toy Story 2. First, he built it out in a rocky rendition of Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Then he glided into a jazzy, frosty the snowman. But when Weezy started crooning, you know, see, Blue Christmas, Woody had to move away. It made him think of how you know, sad he'd be without Andy. Catch you later, Weezy, Mike, Woody said with a tip of his hat. Weezy and Mike continued to sing as Woody walked off. He was glad his friends were in holiday spirit, but he couldn't stop thinking about how, how much he missed Andy. He went over to the other side of the room, hoping to find something that would distract him. Now, hey, Woody, want to help us decorate? Slinky Dog asks him. Watch this. He gave Woody a poke in the ribs, then yelled, as he hit it. In a flash, two aliens bounced super high and draped a string of red and green buttons along the edge of the bookcase. Pretty neat, Slink, Woody said with an approving nod. A nice job, Sarge, he called to the army commander and his troops. They were hanging sparkly silver jacks that looked like 3D snowflakes around the room. We got a Christmas tree, too, 
Slinky Dog told Woody. He pointed to a tree made entirely of cotton balls. No, red and green hair ribbons that were wrapped around it and tied into a bow at the top. There were already presents under the tree, as you can see here. They were wrapped in shiny paper and tossed with Christmas bows. Looks like it's a white Christmas, Sarge said. Woody smiled a little bit. He was impressed that all the toys were working together to make Christmas a happy holiday. <clears throat> Woody kept track of the dates on the calendar in Andy's room. Finally, it was the big one. December 24th, Christmas Eve. Hours passed with secrets and whispers. And before long, it grew dark outside. The toys all gathered together to celebrate the holiday, but Woody held back. He was thinking of Andy. Hey there, Sheriff, Buzz said. Why so down? It's a beautiful night out <clears throat> night out there. And it's Christmas Eve. <clears throat> I don't know, Buzz, Woody said. It's just not the same without Andy. <clears throat> You're right, Buzz said, pulling the cowboy to his feet. It's not the same, but you'll have other friends besides Andy. Come on. He put his arm around Woody's shoulders. Woody and Buzz walked in. No, it's see by Bo Peep. She was reading a Christmas story to the newest toys. Just like we're doing right now. The ones that, no, let's see, who had never, no, let's see, had a Christmas before. They were listening to Bo's every word. Bo winked at Woody. Lo and behold, Woody's heart felt a little lighter. See, then Buzz led Woody over to the Christmas tree. Etch a sketch stood by the tree. A roaring fire drawn on the screen. Nearby, someone has set up the wooden blocks to spell out, Merry Christmas. No, let's see. Get the lights, Sarge, Buzz shouted. The soldier saluted and turned out the lights. Here's the little thing I like to call Christmas magic, Buzz said. He pressed the laser button on his right arm and a beam of light shot out onto the wall. He pressed the button again and again and again. It was so quick that his finger became a blur. He moved the lights around. No, right, left, up, down, left, down, right, up. The light pulsed around the dark room, making a shadow, uh, making a show, I mean, of dancing snowflakes, sugar plums, and lots and lots of toys, dolls, trains, teddy bears. Woody's jaw no, dropped and his eyes grew wide. He had never seen anything so magical. Wow, Buzz, the cowboy said. That's really great. Hmm, let's see, I didn't know you could. <clears throat> his sentence was cut off and, uh, by a jolly ho, ho, rawr. As R.C. Uh, rolled into the circle. R.C. was decorated to look like a sleigh. And following behind him was Rex, with a white cotton beard and a red sock hat. Sorry about the roar, Rex said, even though no one had been scared. Sometimes I forget I say in a closet, not a fierce, bone-crunching, carnivorous dinosaur. Rex went to the Christmas tree. He picked up presents to give to each and every toy. Bullseye was thrilled to have his bandana back. Mr. Spell got brand new batteries. Your speaky was getting a little slow there, Slinky Dog pointed out. Buzz got a Star Command 4-way outer space signal interceptor. His friends had put it together out of a small cardboard box. So sequins were an old doll dress and lots of duct tape. Thanks, guys, he said. It's just what I always wanted. One of the dolls gave Jesse a dress. Ham's the present was a quarter. Woo-hoo, he shouted. That's as good as 25 pennies, 5 nickels, 2 dimes, and a nickel. I feel a flush. And then Bo Peep pulled Woody over and gave him a big kiss. He turned as red as the Christmas lights. Aw, oh, shucks, Bo, he said. Mm. Woody looked at his friends. Buns was right. Christmas without Andy wasn't worse. It was just different. Spending time with people and toys... You loved what was, no, no, you, you loved what was, no, what Christmas was really all about. Hey, boys, Woody, everyone, Slinky Dog yelled from the edge of the, uh, from the, edge of the bed. Check this out. He pulled the window curtain out, uh, aside. Outside, snow drifted down. It's a white Christmas, he shouted. Merry Christmas, everyone. No, Woody smiled. Merry Christmas, he replied. Mm. The end.